What's going on guys and welcome to my stream. Today is, um, I'm not sure what day it is today, but uh, it's been uh, interesting. Like, this is a really good, uh, um, really good video of how my last uh, 20 days have been on the cruise ship. Um, so as you know, I left cruising and cruising is like my number one thing that I like doing. And I like you to, you know, get a sense like what is possible. Uh, technically, I flew into like Rome and then I took, um, I took uh, a cruise back to the States. It was around a 20 day cruise and uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty long. Um, I think I've seen about uh, 17 shows at 7.30 or whatever, uh, 7.30, 7.15, and I'm about to go see the show. Anyway, we're, we're, right now we're, uh, we're in Rotown. Uh, I haven't really gone out today. I was actually hiding from the sun, to tell you the truth. And I'm uh, going to show you a bit, you know, the Rotown is actually a city of roads. It's part of the British Islands. Um, that's kind of like what it looks like, kind of like uh, part of the British Islands. Um, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a nice tour around and see the ship and get you to talk about how like my uh, how like my day has been, how like my week has been. You know, uh, you know, being stuck in a monitor, being stuck in the screens all the time is really not really how you want to live most of your life. But, uh, you know, my, what, what have I been doing? Uh, lately, I think I've been reading. I finished about three books, five books. Uh, my lessons of reading. I think, um, you know, I, I, I read a bunch of books about... Um, let's see if we can, we can get this over here. I read a bunch of books about uh, Troy Francis. Uh, Troy uh, is a very interesting character. And... Uh, he, uh, he goes around places and uh, pretty much um, pretty much uh, uh, meets new women. So let's see if we can get this sorted out over here so we can see each other better. Uh, there we go. So now you can see me a little bit better. So my life has been pretty good, I would have to say. Uh, hopefully this is not going to tint over because it's kind of windy. Uh, but, um, you know, I've been seeing a bunch of shows. So, like, the wind is coming from over there, so definitely, hopefully it's not going to rub over. But, uh, you know, I'm waking up each day, possibly going to the gym, possibly exercising, possibly, uh, you know, just, uh, just enjoying most of my life. know sail away I believe uh, so the routine has usually been waking up uh, you know eating something I mean breakfast is already done I don't know how many types of breakfast there have been uh, there has been millions types of breakfast eggs I mean it's it's a buffet so you know I try not to eat too much uh, because uh, Eating too much is actually <laughs> gets you, gets me to be fat. So hopefully I will not be uh, fat at all. But um, you know, uh, what I want you guys to see is that you know you can literally pick up your laptop and go anywhere in the world. That's the beauty about uh, this amazing job. Um, so I've seen. Um, I don't know, many, 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 many shows. At uh, 7 o'clock, there is a show to be seen. So, let's, let's walk around this way and see more of the ship. Uh, you can see, really nice, really nice, comfortable ship. Uh, the, the books I've been reading is actually about dating, to tell you the truth. I read four books about Troy Francis. I think, uh, you know, I like to go out into the world and date different women, uh, like from, you know, Ukraine, <laughs> from uh, Hungary, and so forth. So, 
my dating life has definitely, uh, you know, I've been definitely researching it a lot because I spent a lot of time, um, you know, working on my laptop. So dating has not been really a priority. So this guy travels the world from like Ukraine to, you know, to what is it called? He goes to Brazil. I don't know. He slept with like 500 girls and he's talking about like the dating market, how it's actually very difficult to to trade, to, uh, to pick up girls. It's not difficult. It's just, I mean, I'm sure it's not easy, but it's not. Uh, definitely not easy that's for sure so uh, you know, my lesson to you guys let's see if we can go get up here maybe we're gonna see I think it's closed over here but um, I don't know maybe we have a tennis court over here but let's see if I can get up here but basically I wake up for the first like there were like about seven 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 sea days I believe around seven sea days I believe oh okay there we go we got a tennis court over here so the point I'm trying to make is that there were about seven sea days seven sea days in which I pretty much I was so exhausted from my business that every day I was waking up and uh, I was just staring at the water I was waking up getting my food and I, and I stared for at the water for, I don't know, probably all day. It was a very interesting feeling. I think, um, I think my body finally burned out. Uh, and uh, it's a serious disease for traders, especially day traders that have their own business. Um, and, uh, but for the most part, you know, I just stared at the water. <laughs> it was a very hard, uh, let's see if we can see like right here we're we're in the tennis court less people over here but for the most part I just stared at the water for seven days straight seven days straight I stared at the freaking water and I didn't even have energy to like listen to my audible books I pretty much uh, turned on my I, I pretty much turned on my I don't know my PDF uh, books by Troy Francis I think I had like five PDFs like you know text game uh, how to pick her up as a Chad uh, you know how to dress how to have a bad boy uh, stuff it was an interesting read that's for sure I highly recommend you guys to go and to read uh, Troy Francis how to pick up chicks uh, and um, but uh, for the most part you know this was a transatlantic cruise around 20 days so for the most part uh, I pretty much slept <laughs> there were periods of time in which I woke up in the morning and then I pretty much um, ate stared at the water and stared at the water continuously yeah I don't know how that happened to be able to do this but uh, we're living in a very hyper time of uh, civilization in which, you know, everybody wants everything now. And, uh, you know, life of a trader and as a business person, I am running a business. Uh, it's very exhausting, especially I do work out. So I have three things I do. I work out all the time. I have to watch what I eat all the time. I have my online YouTube business. and I have my trading business. So, and I also read a lot. I read a lot of uh, books. I have 437 books in my Audible. And, uh, you know, it's been hectic. I mean, being able to wake up every day at around 9 o'clock or, or 7 o'clock every single day and trading the financial markets. I mean, you have to be perfect. And, um, I mean, if you're not perfect, I mean, you lose money. It's really that simple. You just lose money. Uh, so uh, you have to be perfect. I mean, your battery levels have to be like really high. Uh, if your battery levels are not, you know, good and you don't have an indication of the market, you can get a very serious situation of a downward spiral in which, you know, in which you can pretty much lose money. <laughs> and 
it's very hard to make it back uh, so you know I recommend breaks I don't think I took a break for ever since I started my new website which was in June of 2022 so I've been working like non-stop for like a year and a half so this was a really good you know really good break for me I highly recommend uh, transatlantic cruises they're um, they're really good and uh, they're very um, relaxing like the last transatlantic cruise I was on it was a little bit uh, was a little bit rocky so I was a little bit skeptical whether or not to take that cruise or not but um, I finally took this one and you know I'm not I'm not sorry that I did it that I that I took this one it was very uh, I'm very happy I took it to tell you the truth in the beginning you know being able to transition from like you know from the states to like you know Europe I mean it's um, it's definitely something you might want to keep in mind I mean it's it's very easy it's very hard to go from the states to Europe and uh, it's very easy to come to Europe to the states that's what I'm trying to say because when you come to Europe to the states uh, you pretty much add seven hours and then the other way around you pretty much subtract seven hours and the body is just subtracting is uh, never really that good for the body so right now I think we're about to leave um, we leave at uh, 5 30 I believe I mean the ship is like to tell you the truth the ship is like 3,000 passengers and uh, I mean you, you only have like a thousand passengers overall on the ship so I'm very happy that you know you, I went to see the shows at like five o'clock each day I think it was seven o'clock each day and uh, they were fun we we're like an hour watching a show a private show and uh, I enjoyed it for the most part you know so now you're gonna ask me like when is time to make money you know when is the time to make money obviously in December usually all the time in December it's always uh, I mean these small caps are very moody and uh, they um, pretty much uh, see if we can hopefully the microphone works really good so what I'm trying to say is that these small caps are pretty moody and um, <sighs> People need to buy them and people usually buy them when it's like uh, an end of a year or a beginning of the year and it's usually you know a very hot. December and January historically are really hot months let's see if we can get you guys the view that I'm seeing right now I'm not sure if we're departing or not but I think we're departing at 530 this is Road Town uh, I was looking online as part of the British Islands um, and um, it pretty much is a set of roads believe it or not it's a set of roads <laughs> on a hill or something like that uh, so you know I, I, I the best time to trade I would have to say is a lot of December a lot of January a lot of February a lot of March probably those are like your best bets um, usually uh, you know, but you know what I've learned I think I was talking to you know my relative uh, what I really did learn on this cruise is um, I think I was talking you know uh, approaching <laughs> I read I read to Troy Francis book and I was writing notes about approaching like you know I travel the world a lot and I don't pr approach enough girls uh, you know my life has been uh, very um, very lonely to tell you the truth traveling the world maybe one day I'll find what I'm looking for but so far uh, I'm not seeing it but uh, you know you, you so the, the point I'm trying to make is reading what I learned from this cruise reading all these books is you know you probably miss all the shots you didn't take and uh, dating you should take it as the same way you take of your financial account um, the, your financial account I mean if you're being, you should always be looking for another best stock that is moving so you can buy it and make a lot of money that same thing in dating you should always be looking for the next best date out there and constantly be proving yourself 
that's probably what I have to what I have learned uh, I also read a, re a lot of uh, Seth Seth material like like Seth Seth speaks like Seth has a lot of PDFs I mean I really like um, those um, those spiritual books they really give um, a nice perspective because sometimes I do have dreams and I do wonder what do they mean so you know Seth says something about um, you know you you pretty much um, travel I mean if you have a good dream or a bad dream you're technically traveling into the future or traveling into the past or traveling uh, inward or traveling uh, outward uh, those are like those are like very interesting things because um, you know I never you know you're like a branch when I learn about the set books is that you're like a leaf a leaf from a tree uh, if you Google on Audible and you look uh, Seth Speaks and like Frederick Dodson books I mean I, I, I always have one of these dreams and sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad and um, I always wonder like what does it mean well uh, well the time happens simultaneously for all the versions of you now so you know you're we're a multi-dimensional creature in which you know yourself experiences the future the past uh, and time goes inwards outward forward and backwards forward backwards inward and outward that, that's a very interesting concept to to get but um, you know I, I learned that um, when you have those interesting dreams whether they're good dreams or night dreams or bad dreams you're somewhat connecting to your future self or a clumsy self that is having trouble or is succeeding so you better you know I always look at my dreams and wonder um, whether I'm traveling into the future of a good self or a bad self uh, that is um, because not all my dreams are positive let's see this uh, so you know you miss a hundred shots you don't uh, you don't take that's definitely one of them and uh, you know Troy Francis is really good at approaching how to be an a-hole that's actually a really good book and uh, let's see over here this is pretty nice I think we're uh, we're about to depart I think at 530 um, but um, you know it's nice I mean I don't have a lot of problems I mean the, most of my problems during the week is you know trying to figure out who I'm gonna talk to today and those are like <laughs> primarily my problems and whether or not I'm gonna have pasta or pizza or salad uh, those are like my problems those are like really good problems to have and whatever what kind of book I'm reading today it's kind of like what it's like um, you know I highly recommend the long cruises this is probably one of the longest I think 20 days is definitely the longest and mostly believe it or not I just slept continuously sleeping <laughs> continuously sleeping not even like joking like something it's like I at one point I, I was trying to figure out like what day it is whether it was Monday or Sunday but um, you know the, the water was chilled there was not rocky it was like hot every single day like it like some people were getting like heat exhaustion so that's kind of like what I have to say to you guys uh, chase your dreams like I always you know I'm always reading I'm always improving I'm always looking for trades I'm always you know creating a business I'm always going new places but primarily this has been a very resting cruise I think I'm uh, exhausted a lot of people you know we were in a very sluggish bearish market and a lot of people you know starting with this business they they had unrealistic expectations uh, and of what the market is gonna give you um, you gotta have realistic expectations 
had a lot of realistic expectations. And like I said, uh, most of my winners are like, you know, if I take them as a buy point, I make 10, 20% on my winners buying them and shorting them. I make a lot more because I, I hold my shorts a lot longer. But, uh, you know, if you were listening to my live streams each day, uh, you would uh, already know that. So these are like the top, um, top uh, lessons that I have to say for you guys. Top lessons that I learned um, uh, as, as cruising 20 days. Would I have done it again? Yes. I mean, the price for this cruise is dirt cheap to not take it. And uh, especially it happened, I think in October or September or November. It happened in November. Um, so, and the ship was like empty. <laughs> Probably because people are broke. Let me give you a nice 360. Other than that, you know, we're getting ready to sail. It was fun talking to you guys and check me out in December, um, December 2023. You know, sign up to my live streams and, um, you know, see all of my next videos. It's been fun uh, living this adventurous life and, uh, you know, making money. Other than that, so, yo.